You should never give a baby honey. At least, not if they're less than a year old. No, no honey for you. But why is honey so dangerous to babies and fine for the rest of us? Stick around to find out. What's up Groovy Gang, I'm Asmine. I'm a junior doctor from London and I make videos about medicine, science, life as a doctor and all kinds of fun and educational stuff. Make sure you subscribe now and hit the bell icon for all notifications so you know when new videos come out. Now the reason honey is so dangerous to babies is because of a species of bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. This can cause a life-threatening condition called botulism. Now these bacteria are found in many common places, soil, dust and even honey because bees pick it up from their environment. The bacteria themselves are harmless but they produce botulinum toxin, which is a deadly neurotoxin. You may know it as Botox. It affects the nervous system by stopping the transmission of nerve signals at connections called synapses. It does this by stopping the release of an important neurotransmitter chemical called acetylcholine, which is vital for the nervous system to work properly. By blocking these signals, it can result in muscle paralysis. However, Botox is generally safe because it's used at small doses to paralyze facial muscles for cosmetic reasons. On the other hand, the amount of toxin found in contaminated foods might be much more. Potentially enough to cause paralysis of any part of the body, but most worryingly, the diaphragm, which is essential for breathing. But if that's the case, then why can we eat honey, but babies can't? That's because the bacteria remains as dormant spores within the honey. For older children and adults, our digestive systems have matured and encountered all kinds of food and bacteria. The healthy bacteria in our gut, our microbiota, can fight off the Clostridium botulinum before it has the chance to make its deadly neurotoxin. But for babies under a year old, They've only had their mother's milk, or formula milk, or a few select foods. Their digestive systems haven't had the chance to mature yet. So when the new and scary Clostridium botulinum spores arrive, they have free reign to multiply and produce their neurotoxin within the baby's intestines. This can lead to the deadly condition infant botulism. And it's important to note that people with weakened immune systems can get botulism too. The good news is infant botulism is pretty rare nowadays with most cases in the United States. But if you suspect your baby has eaten honey or they appear unwell in any way, contact your medical professional for advice straight away. The symptoms of infant botulism include, but are not limited to, constipation, weak or floppy limbs, weak crying, troubled breathing and swallowing, poor feeding, and lethargy or tiredness. Symptoms can typically appear between 3 to 30 days after exposure to Clostridium botulinum toxin. If your baby has any of the symptoms mentioned, go straight to your emergency department or call the emergency services for help right away. They might need treatment in the intensive care unit. But wait, I thought honey was supposed to be antibacterial. Well that is true, honey's antibacterial properties derive from its acidity, its low moisture content, its high sugar content, and the antiseptic hydrogen peroxide, among other features. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I might make a video about the health benefits of honey. Comment below if you want to see that. And because of honey's antibacterial properties, that's exactly why Clostridium botulinum can only survive in the dormant spore form. These are extremely resistant and normal processes like heat and pasteurization can do nothing to destroy them. So the best thing is to avoid giving honey to babies under a year old until their digestive systems have experienced more food and had a chance to mature. And it's probably best for babies to stay away from the sweet stuff for the sake of their new teeth too. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more. Watch the playlist on screen for more medical and educational content. And until the next time, stay groovy.